Hello, gun aficionados and enthusiasts. Today we're looking at three different revolvers that are kind of rare and you don't see these every day because they're rare. <laughs> First up, we have the Charter Arms. This is a police bulldog. Now the bulldog was normally a 44 special cartridge. This is a 38 special. And what's unique about this one is that it's a six shot. Six shot, normally these charter arms are five shots. Normally they come with small grips, but I put these nice G10 grips on here, which really give you a really nice purchase. This is a really different kind of design from Smith & Wesson. It's quite different. The cylinder rotates to the right just like a Colt. You can tell by the little arrow there, it's pointing to the right. And the Astra is pointing that way. So that little arrow indicates which way the cylinder is gonna turn. It's got a nice trigger, stages. Has a frame mounted firing pin and that is a comes up, the hammer hits the transfer bar. It uses the transfer bar system, similar to the Ruger. It's not a hammer block, it's a transfer bar. So the, it comes up when you release the hammer, it stays up, see? When I, when I let go of the trigger, and it goes down. You can see the firing pin protruding there. This is the Charter Arms. They stopped making the uh, Police Bulldog. Now the 38 Special is called the Undercover. The Bulldog is a 44 Special, which was made famous by the Son of Sam back in July of 76. Through July of 77, he killed six people, wounded seven. This was in New York City. He was arrested and charged with eight murders, which he confessed to. And uh, he was sentenced to six life sentences with parole after 25 years. He used the Charter Arms Bulldog 44 Special. And he said the Sam was uh, the name of a dog that belonged to his neighbor and was possessed by the devil which later he said it was all bullshit. That was the Bulldog 44 Special. This is the Police Bulldog 38 Special. Six rounds, very rare. This one here is also a rare gun. This was made by High Standard for, believe it or not, for Western Auto. It's a 22, 22 caliber, I believe it's a 22 LR, holds nine rounds. And this one has no thumb release uses the ejector rod to open the cylinder. Completely different design. Nine rounds, 22 long rifle. I got some dummy rounds here. These are snap caps, dummy rounds. I put these in here because you shouldn't dry fire a 22, but these have a special feature so that when you shoot it, the hammer doesn't hit the cylinder is a little notch there. Called the Revelation 99. Hickok 45 has a video on this one. This was his, the first gun that Hickok 45 ever shot. I'm a big fan of Hickok 45. Designed by a fellow named Harry Siegfried, who worked for Winchester 
and later went to work for Ruger and had a hand in designing the Red Hawk, the Security 6, the Ruger 1022. So this is a nice gun. It's a very good quality gun. It's got plastic grips. It even has a adjustable rear sight for windage, not elevation. Revelation 99, 22 long rifle. Nice gun. And back here we have the big boy. This is a 357 Magnum made in Spain by Astra. 357 Magnum frame mounted firing pin. Uses a hammer block system. So when I let go of the trigger, blocks the hammer. It's not a transfer bar. Three fifty seven Magna. This is like a like a model nineteen. It's got nice walnut grips, groove trigger, adjustable sights. Astra. Astra three fifty seven. Beautiful gun. Look at that finish. It did a really nice job on this gun. These are hard to find, but they're out there. It's got one, two, three, four, five screws. There's one underneath here. Two, three, four, five. And it's got a pin barrel. Got two pins on the front side, so that means you can replace that. Adjustable rear side. Feels good. Stages very nicely. It's got nice action. Opens like a Smith & Wesson. It's got a recessed cylinder. I'll tell you, it's like a Model 19 for a lot less money. <laughs> and the cylinder locks up like the Smith & Wesson. Very nice action. Made in Spain back in the 60s. This gun was made in the late 60s. It's a heavy gun. Very nice action. Feels really solid. Good mechanics. Mechanics feel good and solid. They don't feel, you know, they don't feel cheap. Nice revolver. Made in Spain. Astra 357 Magnum. Groove trigger. Nice walnut target grips. Beautiful shape. Gun is in pristine condition for a little minor turn line on the cylinder. There's nothing wrong with this gun. It's 
So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Take care of your guns and they'll take care of you.